This is Unexplained YouTube. Hey, Kendall. Hey, Max. So guess what? What's up? Look at the camera. Ah, oh, Brittany, look at the camera. Look at the, the camera. camera. Brittany! Brittany! Look at the camera! I don't want it! Is that what she said? I don't remember. She or is that what I we said? No, I think she says, I don't want it. Hmm. She doesn't want to be internet famous thanks to the past five minutes. Yeah, well, too bad, Brittany. Too bad, Brittany. We just jump-started your career. You too thankless bad, bitch. <laughs> this video is kind of like that. Um, Actually, it's a lot like that. It's super like that. I mean, yeah. This is, of course, the infamous uh, McPherson tapes, or more commonly known as family alien abduction. Yeah. 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 And this was going to be a skeptic's corner, but... It's just, it's like, people don't know about it. So we got to give it as much reach as we can. I feel like it's a duty almost. It's a duty. It's our God-given duty. This video has been around forever. Yeah. At least I mean, on YouTube. Literally, uh, yeah. it's been around before YouTube. It was around since 1989 when it was made. And um, in the early days of YouTube, in the early 2005, 2006, you and me. Oh, yeah. And a couple other morons, fucking idiots. Whoa, would okay. S- would sit, <laughs> would sit around, and we would look for scary videos. Yep. And this was this one always came up. This one it always came up. I was like, I don't know, man. The aliens look so fake. They right. look so stupid. Why would the aliens land in the yard and talk to each other before tormenting a house? Yeah. Um, and we, you know, it was always kind of. It had a little bit of creep. There was a few moments in there, but it's an hour long. Yeah, it's yeah, entirety, and, yeah. And when we were when we were young, we didn't want to watch an hour long video. <laughs> so it just kind of it's like, oh, we we substituted it for better things, but it's always been there. So whenever we search, oh, alien, alien sighting, McPherson tape, mm-hmm. alien, alien on the roof, McPherson tape, UFO, McPherson tape, it comes up. So here it is, and there's and there's some pretty there's pretty interesting story behind the McPherson tapes. There's more than one. Well, kind of, yeah. Uh, and that's the thing, though. Like, uh, like Max said, it just kind of bugged us that it would always come up, always, always, always. And it even was on one of those like Japanese satire special shows where like they have the pictures of the audience and they're laughing and they're getting the reaction to the video going on. You know, one of those weird news satire show things. Is that even legal? <laughs> uh, it's Japan. You know, you can <laughs> marry, know. you can, uh, you can marry anything here in the states, but in Japan, you can. You can just take whatever and throw a satire on it, and it's good. Put it on the TV. Put it on the telly. <laughs> All right. Um, what was I swaying? Oh, yeah. So the um, this footage was everywhere, and, and Max was right. There was this, there's some condensed versions where you just see the ending of the quote-unquote abduction where the aliens march in single file towards a family, and then they look at the camera, and the footage ends. And that's got some spook to it. It's got some good spook value, some genuine creepus. Yeah. But one thing that always bugged me about this before I actually looked into it was there's another infamous shot that you see everywhere. It's when they're looking at the spaceship in the woods or whatever. And, and that word right there, spaceship, the fact that they're like so nonchalantly throwing a word around the word spaceship, because they thought yeah. it was a plane crash at first. But then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, guys, it's a spaceship. Oh, my gosh, it is a spaceship. Where, where, was the, 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 where was the connection between plane crash and spaceship? Like, where they just jumped off and, 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 and started running wild with this idea that it's a spaceship. I mean, n- if it was normal people, the first thing you would say was, you know, I don't know what you're looking at. What is this thing? It's well, a thing. you keep weird lights. Yeah, you would keep calling it a thing. You wouldn't just immediately call it the spaceship. And the fact that they keep calling the um, the creatures aliens and not just creatures or them or just referring to them with kind of a uh, not understanding, you know, was always kind of a red flag to me. I think I, I might know why they're referring to it as a spaceship, Kendall. Why? Because that's what Dean Eliotto told them to say. Oh, shots fired. Oh! <laughs> Is it because they read the script? 
Yeah, that's right. So it turns out this is from an indie film that was filmed in 1989 uh, called UFO Abduction. Um, it was kind of revolutionary for the time because this is 10 years before the Blair Rich project, which made it kind of mainstream to do this uh, found footage thriller kind of um, stuff. And the reason it was done to, to replicate like found footage is because they literally had no budget. They had like $6,000 to make this film with. So the director was confident with $6,000 he could make an alien film uh, seem credible and, and, and make it intense and thrilling. And he did. To his credit, he did. I mean, because today there's still people who believe this is real, genuine found footage. So, I mean, the fact that he was able to do this in the 80s with like six grand, good on you, mate. But that's the thing, though. It, it, there's some kind of weird circumstances that, that revolve around why this wasn't like more publicly known. So basically, uh, before the film hit like its release, which it was going to be direct to um, home video, it wasn't going to be like a, a theater release, theatrical release, um, there was a fire at the distributing warehouse, and it destroyed the original masters, the artwork, and basically everything. Just the fire destroyed it all. Um, so the director basically uh, was like, well... Uh, you know, I'm going to cut my losses. You know, we made the film. Uh, it didn't have a budget. It, this was basically all we had, and it's it's gone now. So there wasn't really a huge um, presence of these VHSs floating around. Uh, somewhere along the lines in like ni- the early 1990s, I want to say 1993, there was some UFO convention, and somebody like showed it as like the highlight of the convention. You know, look at this found footage. And... Um, s- you know, people were all up in arms about it, and some guy claiming to be a, a retired Air Force uh, like colonel was just like, oh, it's real. And, you know, that's back then before you could just quickly Google, you know, this dude's credentials. So, I mean, people just took it as face value. And, no, oh, you know, if this guy says he was in the Air Force and it's real, clearly it must be real, guys. I mean, what is real? It's a movie, though. Um, so it, it was, it was, it was a found footage movie that got hoaxed into, uh, uh, basically, uh, what it is, you know, like ba- misconstrued information. It, it's a great example of people uh, controlling information and only showing you what they want you to believe because you can't see the whole picture. You can only see what they want you to see. Um, uh, that's that's a great way to describe it, though. It was literally it's it's somebody bootlegged a found footage hoax video and turned it into this obscure of uh, alien proof thing <clears throat> so it gets kind of kookier from there because remember max said films not just film but films so later on the uh, the guy is approached with um with the offer to make a uh remake in 1998 uh for a television uh film it, it was at the time it was united paramount network which later became cw network i guess anyway um, and they were going to give him a big budget, and it was called Alien Abduction Incident in Lake Country. Um, county. Ha- Oops. Yeah, county. I guess you're reading the same thing I am. Anyway, uh, so I guess the network kind of, without them knowing, edited the film down. It was originally going to be a two-hour film, and it was going to have like commercial bumpers that were like, hey, this is just a satire. It's not real found footage, you know. But they cut that out in the effort of making it shorter to cut it down to one hour film. Uh, so that just created more confusion. And uh, later on, they did rebroadcast a full two hour version of the thing. But of course, you know, the damage was already done. And all the people uh, who wanted to believe were just using that as affirmation like, oh, look, you know, they did a, they, they made this one so, you know, the, the other one must be real. They did this so that. You know, when they say it was a film, they, you know, they're referring to this, but really, you know, this other one's real. This other one in, in 1989 is genuine. Um, and it's just, it's just dumb that, you know, people cling on to that idea so much, even though it's clearly the facts are laid out right here. You know, and the, <laughs> the director even, like, <clears throat> openly talks about his two films and how they're just films. You know, he, he, but that's he made the these. cover up, Kendall. Oh, clearly, yeah. That's what people want to believe, though. They seriously, there's some people who believe that this whole story, you know, all these facts I just gave you guys, are, is just a cover-up. It's an elaborate, elaborate cover-up. I'm sure, the original. Hear from some of you. <laughs> <laughs> we might. You know, the, it's just, uh, 
the original was, you know, conveniently lost in a fire, and the, the remake was conveniently done, um, you know, just to, to give them an alibi. It's just, it's, it, this is what happened. It was, it was, it was an indie film project that was before its time, really, because, like I said, it was, it was ten years before the Blair Witch made it cool to, you know, oh, I found footage, oh, oh, um, and even the Blair Witch Project, which was clearly a film, there were still people who, be- who believed that's real, and I'm pretty sure there's people today who think that's still real, even though it's it's oversaturated with, you know, gobbledygook, and they got a pointless sequel and all this nonsense. Flat Earth. <sighs> yeah, Flat Earth. <laughs> I mean, it's basically, if you if you publish it, there's always somebody who's going to believe it, you know? Ah. Uh. So, but, there's I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. I just, I'm reading through this and I realize that the actual family in the video, like the characters, they're, they're actually named the Van Hees family. Huh. Yeah. It's, I don't know why it's called the McPherson tape because the family in the movie are the Van Heeses. Huh. That is weird. That is interesting. I'm sure that's probably a clear answer that I just haven't read yet. But yeah, that's really interesting. I'm just so anyway. Uh, I think I, I, I th- I'm sorry, Kendall, but I just quick searched just in case, just to cover my ass. Hang on to your thought. Mm-hmm. Missing, missing, McPherson family. Just on Google. That's what I searched. Right. And I can't find anything. There's not. There's no police. There's no police. There's no newspaper. There's nothing. There's no record of a missing McPherson. Or Van Hees family. No one remembers any of these people because I don't think they... There, there is no McPherson or Van Hees family that went missing. No record... Because if a family goes missing, you're going to hear about it. Right. Right? And however many people there are in these, in these videos, that many people cannot just go missing and you don't hear about it. <laughs> you know. Right. You know, it's... Come on, guys. So anyway, Kendall, I just wanted to say that. Go ahead and continue. I think it's just a it's a loss of translation, basically, when the film uh, got into the hands of whoever botched it and turns it into a hoax film, you know, cut off the beginning and ending credits so it seemed more like even more lost filmy. Yeah. I think they somebody got around to misnaming it. Probably. Uh, Probably. That's, <sighs> that's my spin on that. I mean... Like I said at the beginning of this, it's a true testament to um, how good of a job this guy did, you know, with $6,500. And, you know, basically this wasn't even mainstream idea yet of doing a found film, found footage film like this. Yeah. And the fact that people still, you know, believe it today, uh, it's a testament to that. You know, he did a dang good job. And, you know, it still gives me the, the creeps when, you know, you watch the footage of the aliens walking in single file and they... Look right in the camera. It's just like, oh, that's unsettling. That's now not to what take I away want. some of that. Now to take away some of that creep, though, I can give you the names of those aliens. I know, right? <laughs> K. K. Parton played Alien One. Jenny Klecker played Alien Two, and Rose Schneider played Alien Three. <sighs> well, it's a good Come thing, on, Sp- guys. It's a good thing Spielberg wasn't directing this because it'd be like Kleeborp and Frimzam and <laughs> and Smuggles Puddles. the Happy. <laughs> <laughs> We had we had the Uddles part together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my alien daughter? <laughs> Where's my alien? That's Where my have son. you taken I... my alien daughter? Part time. Part time. <laughs> you know there there was there was a script for Indiana Jones that was Indiana Jones and the Saucer Men and Indy was gonna befriend some little alien or some nonsense. Okay, look. All right, all right. I'm. <laughs> Okay, you know, Indiana Jones 4, I get it. Nobody likes it, all right? Yeah, yeah. But the aliens were not my problem with Indy 4. Okay. Or the extra-dimensional beings, extra-dimensional beings, whatever Arch- you want to call them. Uh-huh. They, were, they were not my problem, whatever, man. He's, Indy has seen some fantastical shit. He's, he's seen that guy reach into the dude's chest, pull out his heart. He's seen the wrath of God strike down Nazis. He's seen the rocks burn through the bag and all the dudes get eaten by alligators, which was weird because they were in India. So, <laughs> Shush, Max. <laughs> so, you have... You, aliens are fine. I had, Maybe aliens have been here millions of years ago, thousands of years ago. That's, that's the thought. That's the part I can wrap my mind around. That's mm-hmm. easy for me. All right? 
That's cool to me. Indiana Jones finding alien artifacts. Yeah, hell yeah, man. But the part that I cannot get past in Indy 4 is the fucking swinging through the jungle. Oh, with, God. With the monkeys. Yeah. And it's I not that... <laughs> can't do it. It's not that I don't like Shia LaBeouf. I think he was a great idea for the cast. He just got a crap role. I don't, yeah, I didn't mind Shia LaBeouf. I think he was good, too. You know, he looks like Harrison Ford. Yeah. He does. And if you look at him in the face, and, and look, Max, he doesn't look like Harrison Ford. He does. Look at his face. He looks like he could be the son of Harrison Ford and What's-Her-Face. He really does. Yeah. But he, when he's swinging through the vines, and and the, and those and those big, what they were Russians, right? And the big Russian yep. vehicles were flipping around in the trees and all that shit. Come on, man. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it just got so cartoony. Like, why, though? <sighs> it, you know... <laughs> It just, yeah, that that whole and the giving the mut, the sword thing. It's like you're just giving him something to do that doesn't make him a better character. I don't want I this. To, I need to keep balance when you're sword fighting Russians like that. You don't. You fall and die. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, come on. Yeah, they could have done so much more with that film. Oh well. well I mean, that's, they, that's... they could have done like you know. Okay, keep the Russians in there, right? You know how there's like that one giant crater in Russia that the UFO created or whatever, or yeah, Dyatlov yeah. Pass. They could have sent Indy to Dyatlov Pass, dude. How cool would that what have been? What happened to these people? Oh, part tarm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they could have done a lot, but you know, they they decided to put in the swinging on on the vines with the monkeys. It's for the barbers. Ah, oh, Jesus, man. So All anyway, right, anyway. Back to a film that didn't have a budget. <laughs> I mean, it's it's a bootleg of an indie film that got turned into a hoax. Like, what more can I say about it, though? Yeah, that's all there is, man. And then they then UPN hired out. They liked the idea so much they made another one. And so what happened is a lot of these news things on on the internet because the internet was just about to happen. Uh, a lot of these news people on the internet were like, hey, this is a a reproduction tape of the original tape. And it's not. It's just a remake because they like the dude's idea. Yeah. In fact, we liked the idea so much, we kind of emulated it with our movie oh, yeah. we did for high school once. That's right. We did. Which you yeah. people are never going to see, so don't ask. I don't have, I don't have it anymore. I, I, don't, I don't have the original footage either. Uh, I John think one person. It? Yeah, I think he does. Hmm. But That'll I don't probably want... show up at a UFO convention one day. <laughs> 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 I can only get <laughs> next morning. <laughs> uh, Keth. <laughs> <laughs> the spelling was impeccable, man. <laughs> so I threw this, this film together, like, last minute, the night before it's due, and I didn't spell check any of it, so we present the film in front of the whole class. And it's English class, mind you. <laughs> and there's got spelling errors and continuity errors, and oh, it was so bad. We did have the best one. Yeah, surprisingly, we, despite we did my, have the best one, yeah. my hack job editing skills at the time, we had the best film in the class, though. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know why? Because we were getting those Dutch angles. D- yeah, we, yeah, we did get some sweet we were, Dutch we were angles. Doing, yeah, we were getting the angles. We were, John getting dragged down the hallway by the monster was that incredibly was, well done. Yeah. Uh, oh, there was, we did some shot reverse shot. Uh, oh, yeah. we did, uh, the, the effects with the light, the light that turns on in the, in the vent. Oh yeah. That was cool. Oh yeah. That was way cool. That was spooky. <laughs> like that was just an office lamp you held up into an <laughs> air duct and it looked really And it was cool. literally, it was literally me behind, behind the <laughs> mic going, no, 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 no. Wow, no, 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 We were doing, doing a, we were doing War of the World sound effects, people. <laughs> <laughs> this was high quality stuff, okay? No, 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 no. All right, maybe, <laughs> maybe I will get the master footage and show it on the channel. Because I kind of want you to see it now, after all. <laughs> hope John still has it. I hope so, too. Didn't he upload it to that channel he had? Mm. Yeah, oh, I poked maybe. around there. I couldn't find it. Ah, oh, bastard. I'm sure he has it. <laughs> I forgot about the John being dragged away scene. That was that was gold. That was so good. Yeah, I, I ripped him down that hallway fast. <laughs> yeah, you did. We yeah, were man. like genuinely concerned when we called cut. Like, because you pulled him into the dark abyss of the other side of the house. <laughs> we were like, "You dead?" Oh, John is not me. I'm the monster. 
<laughs> but um anyway. yeah. Yeah, you know, the things you can do with no budget is pretty cool. And and this is this is a great show of that. Um it, it's still duping people to this day. So good on you there, what Dino. Yeah, Dean Alioto, I think, is how you say it. Probably. I uh, you know, I to me, and there's gonna be the people, there's gonna be the ten hatters, but mm-hmm. uh I think it's it is what it is. It's this dude. Oh, geez, phone. This dude made a thing. This dude yeah. made a, a video. He wanted to make a video with his friends, and that's what it is. And all the proof and distribution burnt down, so nobody can really say it wasn't this. Right. Um, Besides, you know, the people who worked on it. Yeah, and the people in the credits on the Wikipedia right. page. Yeah, there's a Wikipedia page, guys. You can there's search. an IMDB on this director, guys. Yeah, you can go McPherson tape. Or alien abduction, UFO abduction video, and you can find the Wikipedia, uh, you know, the Wikipedia on it, and read all about it. It's there. It's no great mystery. Yeah. And I'm looking at it here, Kendall, and there's people in the comments. I'm curious. This guy says, I'm curious because... Camera guy still recording like it's nothing. If I seen something unexplained, I would say, fuck the camera, everybody, we out. I would be running to the car like it's Black Friday. <laughs> oh. Well, all right. That's because it's a movie, dude. Yeah. You know? Like, come on. People did, still don't... They don't look into things, you know? Did, did that thought even cross his mind that, oh, it's just a film? You know? Uh. And then uh. here's another guy. Here, I believe the footage we have all seen is a reenactment of the actual footage that they haven't shown us. No. It's not. Oh my god. Yeah. And no. then another guy. This dude's onto it. This is completely <laughs> fake. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Good on you, mate. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. Um, it's it's fake in the sense that it's just a film, but it is a real film. Yeah, it's a it, real film. Yeah. But it's a, it's a false account of a fictional event. Exactly. I think I said that correctly. Yep, well, you get it. You get what I mean. It's fiction. Yeah. It's made up. Mm-hmm. There you were know, there were two. We... F- Go ahead. No, please, you sir. God. Oh, I was just going to say there was two films made: one in 1989 and one in uh, 1990 something. 1998. Nin- 98. Okay. Yeah. And that that was it. You know, that, that's the alien abductions. That's why you see two versions of this. You see one. Uh, that looks all old and grainy, and one that looks slightly modern, but still has that handy cam, you know, in your face, uh, found footage vibe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The the one that UPN made really looks like an America's Most Wanted recreation. It does. It really. It's does. the best way I can put it. And and uh, no, it's fake, guys. It's it's uh, it's a f- fictional account. <clears throat> Why would aliens land in the field next to a house they're about to terrorize and shake hands in the field first? Right. Huh. Huh. <laughs> and, and how do these people know it's automatically a spaceship? How a do they spaceship. know it's aliens? How do they know any of this stuff? And and during the film, they they shoot one of them. It's in the house or whatever. They shoot it and it, it gets killed, or so they think. Yeah. It, they put it in a room. They're arguing outside the room. It tries to get out, and then it shines like a light through the through the doorknob, and they they shoot it at the door, and then then it's like dead or whatever. Yeah. And um. And so they they go in there to to make sure it's it's you know passed on to the other realm and uh they're like where's its light gun where's it okay okay let's say it is an alien let's say aliens are real why is it going to have a humanoid type light gun you know why why would it have a, uh, something like that something that we would create you know yeah it, it could have like a tv remote that shoots a laser it could just shoot lasers with its mind you know but no they're looking for a laser gun like yeah. come on guys Come it on. could just be a tool, you know. It doesn't even have to be a gun. Not to mention, it, maybe aliens use like flintlocks. Maybe they're space pirates. Okay. Not to mention, if I if I just shot through my door with a shotgun and killed an alien, uh huh. And I, I would I even have the presence of mind to think light gun, right? Seriously. Or, or would I would I collapse in the stairwell and start crying? <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, like, pretty rough, like. To be fair, they, they kind of portray that scene really well because, you know, yeah, the, so, yeah. the the dude who's shot is just like, you know, going off of the adrenaline and like handling it and everyone else is kind of freaking out. And I thought this was a nice touch. The smoke detector goes off maybe, oh, yeah. I don't know, 30 seconds after the gunshot, which uh, was a nice little touch. You know, the smoke detector would go off because it was literally right above them. If you just shot 
a shotgun under a smoke detector. I'm pretty sure it would trigger it. I mean, it. maybe that wasn't even a touch. Maybe that was real. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, guys, guys, just have a long look. Even at the original. Look at the original, which is the one everybody thinks is real. Yeah. Look at it. And tell me those aliens aren't people in, in alien costumes. Right. Like, like really? Really? And that, 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 hmm. that spaceship, is, it's one of those egg-shaped spaceships that freaking E.T. takes off in. It, you can tell they just kind of crafted their own, you know, wood and paper mache tinfoil version of that. Yeah, hung lights on it and, and, yeah. and floodlights and... Smoke. They had, they had kids in alien costumes meet up in a field and just stand there and be creepy. I mean, it, it's effective. That's probably where the $6,000 went to. <laughs> and the fog machines, dude. Don't forget the fog machines. Yeah, you're right. So, but, yeah, it's a f- fictional tape, and I have nothing to say. All right. <laughs> well, that, uh, that's it, guys. We've, uh, we've uh, explained an unexplained video on YouTube. Tasty treats, guys. You know what's weird? Not a lot of yeah. people talk about this one being fake. No, they yeah, don't. I, I actually don't see like any real debunking videos on this particular video for it being oh, so man. popular. Because I mean, you type alien abduction in, into YouTube even right now, and this is still on you know the first couple pages you search, you still see this this footage yeah, that we're talking about. So I mean, it's it's still a major part uh, of for believers and skeptics alike. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's really amazing that people think hey, this is legitimate. Like I said, man, if you publish it, they'll believe it. At least somebody will. There's always that one person. Flat Earth. F- Flat Earth. Mole Flat people. Earth. The gin. The gin. Flat the Earth. Hol- hollow Earth. The gin. The Earth is flat, such as the gin. <laughs> All right, this episode's going on half an hour. We should close her. <laughs> All right, so this has been Unexplained, Unexplained. YouTube. YouTube.